Alright, I'm going to show you a really simple, easy way to change resolution on the size of a picture um, using a program that's free and built right into um, Windows. Um, the first thing you will want to do is um, open up in your programs, it's usually under accessories, you want to open up Paint, which is the very basic paint program that comes with Windows. When you have that um, open, I want you to open up a picture. Um, I've got a couple that I've already um, grabbed, and we're going to start with this one. So um, this is a picture I have, and I'm going to go down here in the lower right corner. You can see I can adjust the size up and down of the picture, so I can make it a little more easy for me to see it on the full screen here that's going on. Now. Um, this picture right now, as we see in the bottom here, it's 1600 by 1200 pixels. In the videos that we're, we make, um, they are, for today's standard high definition uh, video, we're going to be making these um, 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's standard high definition. 1920 by 1080. So, because this one is 1600 by 1200, we need to adjust that size. Now, this is relatively close to that 1920 um, pixels, and that 1200 is close to the 1080. So we're not really worried about if we um, zoom in or make the pixels stretch them too out too far, that they'll really start to um, look blocky, and I'll show you an example of that here in a little bit. But these... Um, this image is, is concise and clean enough that, you know, making it a little bigger is going to be okay. So, look at the bottom, and remember we're working in 1920 by 1080, and we want to increase the size of the 1600 to the uh, 1920. So, how do we do that? If we go up here, and you'll see this little icon right here that says Resize. And under Resize, you're going to want to hit where it says Pixels. Under Pixels, you'll be able to see here that it says Horizontal, 1600, Vertical, 1200. So if we change that to 1920, which is the size we need, we see it actually stretched it out to that size. And you see we didn't really lose any resolution in that picture. So that picture is going to still really be clean and clear and, and good for our audience to be able to look at it. But the problem now is we see that it is 1920 by 1440. So it's too tall, okay, from top to bottom. We need to resize that. Um, now, if we resize that, we'll be pulling it back in. So, instead of resizing, we're going to actually select part of it by hitting the select button right here. And then, if we go right to the very edge of the picture, right above the area we want, and it may take a couple of times to figure out where the exact spot is, um, then you hold down your mouse, keep your mouse held down, while you're dragging this box across the screen, across all the way over to the other side, and look down towards the bottom, and you'll see right now it says 1919 by 1059. If you adjust that up and down, you'll see things change. So I'm going to try to get that close to... And I accidentally clicked off the button, and that'll happen, so I'm going to re redo that again. Here, and all we have to do is get close to the size we need. So I'm going to go down to here and try to leave a little bit on the bottom and the top to be about the same. And you see right here, it's not exactly 10 and um, 20, it's 1091. So I can either select that part, like that, or I can go back in. This is how if you want to reselect another section, you re click the select button and you can start again. So I'm actually going to bring that a little closer to the start line so it looks a little more balanced. So that way I can have 
the same amount of white on the bottom as on the top and try to get it closer to the 1020 mark. And I'm going to leave it right about right there because I want to leave a little bit of the same on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to select that and then I've got that whole area selected. Now if I go back up here and hit the crop area, crop, it actually crops out the rest of the stuff that I didn't select and brings that picture to the size of what we just cropped out. Now that picture is now 1920 or 1919 by 1033 which is still not the pixel range that we want so we have to go back in and make an adjustment again. Go back up to the resize go back into the pixels. This time I want you to click this button, maintain aspect ratio, click this off. So that way when you change this to 1920 and this to 1080 and click OK, it just barely stretches it a little bit each way and it doesn't pull it enough out of proportion that you end up with that Hall of Mirrors look where it look, makes somebody look fat or look really skinny or something like that. Now you have a 1920 by 1080 pixel picture. Go up and save that as I'm going to make it on the desktop. I'm going to call it Superheroes 1920 by 1080. And then I will save it. And then I will have that picture on the desktop ready to use. So what happens if we try to do the same thing, change the resolution from a picture which to begin with has way too small of a resolution? Well, let's we'll start by going back and starting the paint program again. And this time I'm going to open up a picture which I've got which is a low resolution picture of some superheroes. You see um, Superman, Captain America, Wonder Woman, you know, many superheroes in the picture. Well this picture as you can see down here is 364 pixels by 1300 or excuse me 319 pixels. So it's a much smaller resolution. If we resize that by going to the pixels and let's just start with the top one change that to 1920 when we, and let's bring that back down to a viewable size, when we actually look at it at a viewable size you can see the resolution on the picture is really, really not as clean. So if we go in and, um, you know, select part of it, and since the, most of the heroes we want are probably the ones that are in the best focus, um, we'll go to there, There, let's go get that close to close to 10, 1080. There we go. And then we will crop that out. And then you can see that we can go back in and hit the resize again, go into the pixels, click off the maintain aspect ratio because we're just making slight adjustments. 1920 by 1080. And then we've got, when we save that, um, we'll call that low res to 1920 by 1080. And then we've got that one. But as you can see, the resolution has um, greatly dis diminished. And as it gets more and more um, pixelated it will become more blurry and it just won't look as clean and clear. If it's maybe a background that is not as important to see that resolution it needs to look blurry. Um, sometimes that helps with certain fonts in certain circumstances but there needs to be a good reason for that. Um, you know that might be something that you may want to be able to do. Remember we talked about rules versus laws and uh, that gives you the um, look at both of the the ways of looking at those um, 
um, low resolutions or higher or close to resolution. You can also get um, a picture that has a much higher than a 1920 by 1080 resolution and reduce it down through the same methods to get to be the 1920 by 1080 that you do need. Alright, good luck.